How can I tell if marketing claims are based on known facts, biased opinions, or just pure nonsense? This may seem like a difficult task, but it's easier than you might imagine. The technique I recommend is used regularly by detectives, trial lawyers, investigative reporters, and many others to determine facts from fiction. It was invented over 2,000 years ago by a philosopher named Socrates. He discovered something that can be summed up with only two words, but these two words are so profound that they've inspired entire college courses. Most are never taught this technique. Some consider it too powerful for the average person, which is ridiculous. So it's usually only taught at the college or university level. Deceptive marketers dislike this technique, which is why you should learn it and use it. <clears throat> I'll teach you the basics today, and I hope you'll get this, informa this information you'll get uh, will help you to use this technique wisely to get to the facts. Now, in a nutshell, what Socrates told his followers was this. Question answers. That's it. Seems simple, but few people do this. We're trained from a young age not to ask too many questions. As children, we're often told to stop asking why. What's that all about? The right questions can reveal the facts, but facts can sometimes be embarrassing. So, we're just supposed to accept what we're told and not ask challenging questions? I don't think so. Now, many don't like too many questions since they can, it can expose when they don't really understand what they're talking about or they want to hide the facts. Question answers. What did Socrates mean? Never just accept an answer or assume an answer is based on facts. Always dig deeper by asking several follow-up questions. Each answer creates an opportunity to ask another question. So don't just quietly accept what you're told, especially from politicians, marketers, or salespeople. Now, many are duped because they accept answers without asking more questions, which makes them a target for easy deception. Instead, dig deeper until you're satisfied that you've gotten to the facts. It's easy to do, and if you ask the right questions, the answers will be revealing. If someone tells you something that doesn't sound right, a first question could be, where did you get that information? If they can't tell you, it may be because it's something they just made up because it sounds good. That happens all the time. But many things that sound true are not true. Now, if they do answer this question, a second follow-up question might be, well, how do you know this information is correct? If they do answer this question, a third follow-up question could be, why do you believe that's true? Or, why should I believe this information? If they can't convincingly tell you where their information comes from, why they believe it's factual, and why you should trust what they're saying, well, should you? Maybe not. Many times salespeople are just told what to say. And they may not even believe it themselves, but they must repeat what they're told or they could lose their jobs. Oftentimes, you'll get an odd answer that you may not understand, which is a common sales and marketing trick. It's often called double talk. Your follow-up question could be something like this after getting some double talk. I don't understand. Can you explain this to me in a different way so I can have a better understanding? Hmm? Or perhaps this. Help me to understand what you're saying. This eliminates a lot of the mumbo-jumbo designed to fool the listener. <clears throat> Your next follow-up question could be, why should I believe this is correct? Or, why is this important? Now, by now, you're probably seeing the power of this method for getting to the facts. And you're likely to come up with some other similar questions that will fit just about any situation. It's claimed the mid-19th century entrepreneur J.T. Barnum famously said, there's a sucker born every minute. 
You don't have to be one if you use this technique. Want to see some other examples or learn more about this important technique? Then Google the term critical thinking. You'll find sites that discuss how to use this method and how to empower yourself uh, with the knowledge that it will bring. Now, this method is not designed to criticize. That's not what the name means, but instead to allow you to find more useful information on any topic. It can save you from wasting a lot of time and money on products or services that sound good, but don't live up to their promises. It's an extremely powerful tool, so use it wisely and only for good, and you will benefit enormously if you do.